On Saturday, October 25th, the John Purdue Club held its first annual Boilermaker Oktoberfest from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. on the South End Zone patio at Ross Aid Stadium. Well, we knew it was uh, a bye week for football, and we knew that we had invested in the South End Zone, and we also knew that there wasn't going to be a huge Mackey madness for basketball, so we thought it would be a good way of getting donors together on an off weekend to see, kind of be you know, get a, a, a good test of what basketball was going to look like. And it gives us a way of reinforcing those people who have supported the John Purdue Club and our scholarship initiative. So we thought it would be just fun to get John Purdue Club people together and have a, a fun evening. All the Boilermaker fans came out to meet current Purdue student athletes, enjoy food, beverages, along with the entertainment of the Chardon Polka Band coming all the way from Cleveland, Ohio. Rita is Rita Zawisha is our um, assistant director, associate director for events, and she is infamous for coming up with really creative uh, events. So she found she found this group, and they are they're terrific. The Boilermaker Oktoberfest was free to all students and John Purdue Club members. Non-students or non-John Purdue Club members paid ten dollars to get into the event. Everything that we do goes to our primary mission, which is to cover the athletic scholarship costs of our student athletes. And for those that don't have any idea of magnitude, it's about $20,000 for an in-state student, about forty-two dollars for an out-of-state. And what we pay back to the university this year will be about $11 million. So every little bit helps. Prior to today's Purdue's Boilermaker Fest, the men's and women's basketball team held a full on scrimmage in Mackey Arena and signed autographs for all the fans. Everyone came out in support of the Boilermaker Athletics to enjoy great food, good company, and even dancing. The athletic department hopes to make the Boilermaker Oktoberfest an annual event here at Purdue in the future. Everything that we do, we, we will um, ask for feedback from our donors, those that were able to participate and those that weren't, and ask if they thought it was a good idea and had a good time, but a lot will depend on when the bye week is next year. Reporting for Fast Track, I'm Jillian Eddy.